What's going on guys? We're about to play golf uncut. No splices, no cuts, just straight golf. We're playing hole 18 at Abacoa Golf Club, probably the best public golf course in South Florida. You guys let me know in the comments if it's not, because I don't know. I don't know where we can get this shape and be this good of a track. So we got a par four here. It's a par, I think it's a little bit of a long one. I think it's like four, 430 or so. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, take you through my process. There's water on the right hand side here. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna hit this over towards that left side. So if I do miss it, it's gonna be by the car path rather than the water. So I'm gonna hit that nice, beautiful fade, try to peel it off that, that left rough, and then just go ahead and, just go ahead and make that bird. So let's go. So here you go, I, I usually get my setup, pick my target right at that palm tree, the left side of the fairway. Once I get my setup, I just let it rip. Yeah. Jake, that, that's, that is called a stripe show. When you just hit it and the tee falls and then you just pick it up and then you just walk back in the cart and then you just keep it rolling. So don't make the mistake of filling up the SD card because <laughs> we're trying to go uncut. We're just trying to capture the moments, you know? In life, I think the number one thing you can do. You got the wide lens to take a picture of me? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Don't Hey, Ready? I'm a Fowley Brothers now. You gotta pay the licensor fee. All right, we got it. How's it going out here? Good. Good. Yeah, just recording some stuff. Good for you. Yeah, doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm. We're hoping not slowing you down. So. No, no, no. All right, no. cool. Shit, there's eight million people. I know, there's so many. Welcome to Abacol. That's right, baby. Where's the cart girls? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Them old guys love the cart girls. <laughs> let me, let me drive a little slower. Let's relax, shall we? Look at that beautiful fountain. That's so nice. I love fountains. Hey, but back to the story. You guys, all of you guys out there, no matter who you are, you guys gotta start documenting your life. There's too many people who are like, oh, messaging me about not knowing what to do. Literally, just put your phone behind yourself or just pick it up, start recording yourself like this and tell your story. I think that's the biggest thing to life is everybody has their own gifts. And I think if you can take advantage of that, you'll be, uh, you'll be set. So drive up, got the GPS with us so we know where we're at. There was actually a mini tour golf league here, uh, sorry, minor league golf tour here at Abacoa. Uh, mini tour, <laughs> minor. <For shorter. laughs> That would be sick though. If there was a there was a midget, uh, there was a midget golf league. We can't cut any of this. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh man! All right, cut. No, I'm just playing. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but that would be cool though, would it not? Yeah. All right, but um, no, there was a term. <laughs> minor league golf tour out here uh, event this morning, so that's why all the pins are pretty tough. It's a little league. <laughs> little league. All right, here we go. One. 50, 158, playing 159. Pin looks back left. Oh man, Georgia, I've been hitting like everything shorter because it's been cold. So I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go up. Oh yeah, hold up. Let me wipe this bad boy off face, sir. Hmm, look at that. I see that. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. Let me see these. Here we go. I'm just gonna be over here hitting, hitting my golf ball. Oh, sorry about that. Grass in your face. All right, 159, a little bit downwind. I have a nine iron. This probably is too much club, but we're just gonna saw it off. Probably go a nine L shot. What I mean my nine L is I'm gonna Literally go right there and just like nice and smooth knockdown shot. This is what changed my game when I learned this shot. Here we go. This might go in. Told you. Jake, get that. That's in the hole. 
Oh, too short. Took too much off it. You can see it though. You can see it though. Hey, Bill. It's my friend, Bill. All right, so all you stewards of golf out there, make sure you fill in your divots, especially if you're digging to China like I do, because you gotta appreciate the game. You love the game, you gotta appreciate it. So, little trick in a trade, my friends. Let's see what the Canadians got in store for us. Oh, he's got that pre-shot routine. Let's see what he's got. <clears throat> oh, that's oh, that's nice. Sit. Shot there. Atta boy. That's money though. That's money though. Why did I not fill in my 16? What did I make on 16? Oh, I almost birdied. I made par. Missed the fairway, hit the green two. Par five, hit the fairway. Hit it's the not green. what happened on the last hole. Bro, I made birdie. Bro, I was going for eagle. Oh, yeah. It's Bro, like, don't even talk about like, that. Get behind the hole because it's going in. Hey, all I know is that confidence is everything and in golf. Left. <laughs> confidence is everything in golf. And if you don't have any, sorry, you're not going to make it. But all you guys, go check out that video because that was on, on the par, par 5, 17, 550 yard par 5. And we just straight up dominated the hole. Like just straight up, I'm not gonna lie to you. But here we got like a 15 foot birdie putt, finishing at Abacoa, nice beautiful finishing hole. That is a tough fly right there, look at it in the bunker. Get that shot. Who is he? Uh, famous NHL ref. Here, I'll drive up. Get! Dang, your partner didn't want to give you relief off that lie? <laughs> I think, Jake, I have to do a better job of finishing rounds. What I mean by that is like, I'll be cruising on the front, doing well, you know, midway through the back and like 15, 16, 17, 18, I just, I just let off the gas. So I gotta keep going, gotta keep telling myself to make more birdies. So that's something that I can get better at, especially in tournament golf. Come on, my kid. All right, it's the final countdown. Here we go, baby. So got For the five. birdie. Here, get over here. Come here, baby. Come here. Get over here, baby. Um, I think one of the cool things about golf is getting paired up with random people. Um, this is something that I enjoy heavily is meeting new people um, and just and just I don't know getting to know new cultures new people how how people work how to deal with people so I would recommend getting paired up playing as a single and getting paired up sorry <laughs> that was my bad but uh, here we go Let's see if the uh, NHL guy can uh, make a move All right, Jake, hopefully we don't miss this putt like we did last time. So here's a, what I like to do when I'm on the greens. I love to picture, like if I'm right here, I'm gonna picture the ball rolling straight at it and I'm gonna see how far left or right it's gonna miss. So right here, I got this ball missing probably a foot or two to the right. So I'm gonna play it a foot or two to the right. See if I can knock in this bird. That's gonna miss away, right? Sorry, sorry about that. All right, here we go. For the birdie, hole 18, 
set it off the right way. Definitely not leaving this short. Stick to the routine and let it go. Oh, I left it sh Oh my! What happened? <laughs> the same thing. Both times. Just leaving it short. Alright. Alright, Jake. <sighs> Let's hold the flag. Man. Thought we had that one. But that, my friends, is a good old standard par, you know? In life, you gotta take standard things, and we'll take a standard par, especially at a beautiful day in a beautiful track like this. So, hey, Abacoa, you were good to us today. I'll see you on the other side.